This is Stir Fried Glory. Now I'm playing Counter Strike. And for those of you that have watched my previous Counter Strike videos, you will know what this means. It means I'm talking about life. That thing that we live every day. Yes, that thing. Yes, I will not be talking about games or playthroughs or other things typical to what you see from me, but just life. And today's subject is reconnecting with your childhood. Um, I recently have been doing quite a bit of that and enjoying it. It started a few weeks ago. I, a friend came over and he wanted to go through my movies and because he was bored and he wanted a movie for him and his girlfriend to watch so I pulled the dust out of my movie collection. It really was dusty. I have not looked at him in a while. And let him look through it, and we he what he actually found was a movie I have not seen in years and years and years, and it was a movie from my childhood. Uh, I don't remember what it was called. It was about a little mouse and his family living underground and things like that, and he could talk <laughs> stuff, you know, typical Disney stuff, cartoon stuff. Anyway. He watched it. I told him to tell me if it was good, even as nowadays standards, just because it was from our childhood. And he said it was great, so I sat down and watched it. Had a lot of fun. Had a lot of fun doing it. And then that kind of caused a little bit of a spark to go check out other things from my childhood. So I started getting all of my childhood cartoons. I mean, I got Danny Phantom, Johnny Bravo, Courage the Cowardly Dog. Um, all kinds of awesome shows like that that were for me growing up. Some of those great things. So I put a lot of time to the side and started watching them. Uh, getting ready for my surgery pretty soon so I didn't have much to do. And it, it was an amazing experience. It was definitely a little bit uh, life changing to go back and see the things that were previously going on in your life. and. You start to realize, at least I did, how much they influenced me to who I am today. Uh, without shows like Courage the Cowardly Dog and Johnny Bravo, although it, that show is a little bit sexist, not really the best. <laughs> they're not really the best example to be setting for the kids, even though I still found it hilarious and I didn't turn out bad from it. At least I don't think I did. <laughs> anyway, uh, they really sparked something inside of me this my inner child started to come out I started to feel a lot happier and like I was just overwhelmed with these old feelings I've not felt in a long time the feeling of that childlike happiness without a care in the world and yes I mean a lot of my life was uh, has been like kinda I don't know what's the word um, it, the, these cartoons m like motivated me. They no, they influenced me. Without them, I know I wouldn't be who I am today. Uh, I I see a lot of cartoons nowadays, kind of getting away from that. I mean, whenever I'm I'm hanging out with my uh, cousin or my nephew. I mean, and I he's really young, and we're watching cartoons. It's just like, ugh, you know. Uh, a lot of the shows nowadays just don't have any style to them. And a lot of the shows when I was growing up, they were really mature, man. Uh, they had a lot of life stories in them. A lot of life lessons to, that they would throw out there for the kids to take and hold dear to them. Um, I was watching an episode of Danny Phantom and, you know, it had the message, be careful what you wish for. Then it eventually grew to other to other messages like don't steal and be happy with what you have cuz and how to deal with when you're being depressed that was actually a really good one how to deal how to deal with that depression and the importance of your friends and i mean those are great messages especially at that young age where kids are really more susceptible to learning and picking things up so that was really good and then when I watch TV shows nowadays, it's like, Hey, I lost my p 
pa favorite pair of jeans. Let's start dancing and make cheesy jokes and everyone claps their hands together and smiles because I'm they're very have a very lack of brain cells. <laughs> Stuff like that. Anyway, I know this whole thing was mostly a story instead of me kind of tell you what to think about. But uh, there is something I want you to think about. I want you to think more into looking at your inner child. Uh, I know some of you that are watching this might be at a young age. Maybe you're even 12 or 13. Maybe a little bit too young to be looking at your inner child. But you can even still go back a little bit. You can ask your mother f for your childhood toys and get all the memories to overwhelm you. And for those of you that are my age and a little bit older, uh, you know, maybe early 20s, out of high school, early adult, look that look back into those things that you grew up with. Um, I definitely recommend it. It is one of the most enjoyable experiences I've had in a very, very long time. Uh, it really can help you, man. I can't stop smiling since I've done it. I'm just filled with this overwhelming happiness and before life got too I don't know what's a good word before life became too much and I grew up and grew out of the, a lot of those things it seems like the older we get the more boring things tend to be the more serious everything ha has to happen and I mean there's nothing wrong with being childish everyone's always telling you to grow up and get a job and do all that stuff but I say there's nothing wrong with being a child just be responsible and be happy. Alright guys, this is Stir Fried Glory, signing off. I'll see you guys next time.